Hey guys, this is Sam, and one week after releasing iOS 11.0 to the public, Apple pushed out the first official update for everyone today, version iOS 11.0.1. It's exciting that the updates are already beginning for iOS 11, and I can't wait to see what Apple has in store for us throughout the next year. For being such a small update, I was surprised to see how large this was. It was 286.3 megabytes on my iPhone 8 and around 280 megabytes on my iPhone 7, so it seems like Apple is including some significant changes in here but if we head over to the change log, they only claim bug fixes and improvements for our iPhones or iPads. It's always disappointing when we see a change log like this because we don't exactly know what change. I really hope that in the future Apple is like, this bug was fixed or this lock screen glitch was corrected. Here's this security update. Speaking of security updates, I thought that something might have happened in the background there, but even on Apple's official security update page for iOS 11.0.1, they say it includes everything that was introduced with iOS 11.0. Now, as it turns out, Apple has confirmed one official bug fix in iOS 11.0.1. There was an issue in iOS 11.0 where if you used an Outlook.com or Exchange email account, when you tried to send a message using the stock mail app, it might say, cannot send mail, the message was rejected by the server. Well, in iOS 11.0.1, Apple has updated a document on their website, and they say that that issue has been corrected, so long as you've updated to the latest version of iOS. Now, why Apple would not just say that when you're updating to iOS 11.0.1 in the first place, I have absolutely no idea, but I guess that's where my job comes in. In addition to this fix, I've looked through the update myself to see if I could find anything that changed, anything that was new, UI polishes or fixes, and I have not noticed anything. First thing I always do is check for new wallpapers, and there are no additional wallpapers in this update. I also thought that we may see emojis, although it would be kind of weird for Apple to include those in such a small update, and those are not present here either. Apple is probably saving a lot of what is coming for future iOS 11 updates, not for a small update like iOS 11.0.1, but for something larger like iOS 11.1 or iOS 11.2. We don't have any idea of when those updates will be coming out, but I could definitely see a beta version of iOS 11.1 launching very shortly. Now for most people, updating your iDevice will be the same process as before. Just go to Settings, General, and Software Update, and you'll see the iOS 11.0.1 update propagate here in just a few seconds. However, there are a number of people that are still not seeing this update, and it's probably for one particular reason. If you are running the iOS 11 beta in the past, you likely have a beta profile installed on your device. So to remove that and to get the iOS 11.0.1 update, it's really simple. Head over to Settings, General, and scroll down here until you see Profile. If nothing is listed under Profile, you won't even see the Profile option in the first place, and you should be able to update immediately. If the Profile option is here, tap on that, tap on the Apple Developer or Public beta profile, go ahead and delete the profile, and after just a few seconds, it will be removed from your device. Now, if you went to check for the update again right now, it probably wouldn't show up. You need to do a reboot of your device or turn it off and turn it back on again, just so iOS starts looking for fresh updates again, because it still technically thinks that the profile is still there and it doesn't need to look for new iOS 11 updates, so just reboot your device or turn it off and turn it back on again. Go back to settings, general, and software update, and you should be seeing the iOS 11.0.1 one release. This first update for iOS 11 was definitely not the most exciting update that we will be seeing this year, but it is nice to see that Apple has been working to improve performance on our devices and squash some bugs along the way. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, it really helps me out if you take just a second to drop a like down below, and of course hit subscribe if you want more information when future iOS 11 updates are released. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in the next video.